Welcome back everybody. Uh, we're starting today on a bad note. Got hit yesterday, last night, going to the dollar store, getting us some snacks, and somebody backed into my car. The one thing that sucks about owning a newer car and not having the money to fix it, <clears throat> even though I got full coverage on this son bitch, excuse my language, and the other guy had full coverage, the insurance companies, because of how old the car is, the value of the damage is worth more than what the car is worth, and it they consider a total loss, and that pisses me off because I'm not going to claim it on the insurance for them to take my car from me. Can't afford to buy another car, and they're not going to give me what I need to get another car. That just it aggravates me. Now I'm going to be on the hunt trying to find the parts, and still I don't have the money to buy the parts. This pisses me off. I'll show you what damage looks like. Yeah. Look at that. Big old dent in the fender. I might be able to beat that out with my uh, dead blow. There's a few dents like right here and over here. The paint's cracked right there. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Gotta drive the car. Don't know. I can't let it go. I need the car. And financially, I can't afford another car. I can't even afford a car note right now. So, got to do what I got to do, you know, and just deal with it. I like this car a lot, and it's upsetting that this has got to ha This had to happen, but the guy's going to go away scot-free with damaging my vehicle, and his insurance is not going to affect him at all because I'm not claiming it. It's just kind of bull crap. Because let me back into somebody, and my insurance is going to freaking skyrocket. Oh well, we're gonna see what happens. Oh, well, there ain't no gonna see what happens. It's just, it's gonna be a while before this car is back to good condition again. So, but on a good note, we got a car meet tonight and a cars and coffee tomorrow. So, hopefully, this video is gonna be a good one. We'll see what happens. See y'all tonight. Well, guess what? I was able to do a little bit of work to this and get the fender looking a little bit better. By the looks of things, with a little bit of Bondo, properly done with the Bondo, not half-assed like some people do, I think the door and fender might be fixable. I was able to push out that big dent on the uh, fender. I'll show you. There you go. Still quite wavy. Still got a little bit of damage. That's what I was saying with the Bondo. But if I put it along the side right here, you don't see a huge dent in the fender anymore. I was able to push that out. Also, I was able to straighten the body gap all the way down. And even right there. All of that was all out of whack. This was pushed in up here. I was able to pull it out, fix that, and get it where it's supposed to be and looking somewhat decent. I'm going to do a little bit of buffing and cleaning up here and get all this paint off of it but there's still gonna be some spots because if you look right here paint chipped off there paints chipping off here and there's a crack it's going right there on the paint yeah not fun so much for the car show days with this car <laughs> don't look like much right now but when I had those wheels on it this thing was nice but all right I'm gonna go ahead and I was going to pull the whole fender off, but then I started playing around with it with it on the car, and I was able to fix or straighten most of that out. So, now I'm going to get to get, get back to work and put all this back on. <laughs> Make it look normal again. Decided to wash the cars before tonight. Friend Matt talked me into coming out here on the base to use the car wash because it's a lot cheaper than off base. But I got my car pretty clean. It'll blow off the water on the trip home. Looking good. Yes, and that's the spot that got hit. I did a pretty good work job on it. A little bit, but you can't really tell. 20 minutes almost, and it was fucking six bucks. That ain't bad. It's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're ready for tonight.
today. Made it this morning to meet my friend Matt. And uh, they got some serious hitters coming in today. Off in the distance, there's a RV with a trailer, a pit dually with a trailer, obviously some cars in there. Two S10s, they're full out race trucks. Um, over here, we got a couple of classics a ZL1 Camaro, C8 that makes some serious power. I mean, a C7 that makes some serious power, a C8 Corvette. My boy with his Mustang just pulled in, which you just saw. It's still early. There's a lot of cars coming. I'm going to start to get video of these cars, the trucks that are going to be pulling in over here. But it uh, looks like some badass race S10s. So we'll see. on this thing. That is badass. It's only got like 20 passes on it, so it's still new. Yeah. I like your tunnel cover. I haven't even cleaned it yet. Big block. <laughs> no, no. It's 800 holes. Yeah. It's a Ford in it these are pretty neat little cars <laughs> I'm liking this we'll 
see what the, this next one is when he pulls it out. These things are sick, man. Look at that. Harley Davidson motor. There's another one over there with a Harley motor. This is crazy. Fuel cell on the front. <laughs> and then the one over there that we were looking at. It's got a Hayabusa motor in it. <laughs> that is so cool. Pretty good turnout. It's nice and badass cars. Black S10. Some of these younger crowds don't know nothing about this. Old school beadlocks. You drill holes in your rims and you put self tappers in. It's the way they did it back in the old days. Pretty cool sticker there. C8 Corvette. This is not the Z06, but this is a C8. <laughs> I love the interior. This is nice. Love the wheels. Set up. It's got a Cummins. <laughs> that is so nice. I hope my camera's not glitching like it's showing right now. 12 out. It looks like the earlier ones with the uh, mechanical fuel pump. This is nice. talk about a drift car <laughs> making sure I'm not walking in front of somebody <laughs> really cool drift car all the bag trucks are coming out tonight or today <laughs> Today's Cars and Coffee is actually a really nice turnout. I was very surprised. There's a lot more cars showing up compared to the last time I showed up here. But uh, I'm enjoying it. Hope y'all are enjoying it too. These are really cool cars. Let's see what else we can find. It's a really nice looking pink Cadillac up here. I'll show y'all what it looks like. I've seen it before. It's got a C, I think it's a CTSV or some Cadillac motor in it. Can't remember if it's a supercharged one or not, but. No, it's the uh, 57 out of a Camaro, early Camaro and Corvettes. Camaros and Firebirds. I'll show you what it looks like. Look at that. It's not supercharged, but it is an LS. That is so cool. Got done 
taking the body off of this. That is so cool. That's a chain on that booger, huh? That is real cool. Everybody's starting to die out. It was a good turnout, good time, a lot of cool cars. I'm about to start heading out myself because my friend Matt's got to get a tire for his S10. He had a flat as soon as we got here. So we got to get to this place before they close and put a tire on his truck. And, uh, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all subscribe, follow me, whatever, like my videos. I will catch y'all next time. I told you he had a flat tire. <laughs> you too? Yeah. Look at this. Right there is where it blew. <laughs> Let's get in here and get this tire. The alignment ain't too bad. It's not eating your tires up that bad except for that sideball. Huh? So your alignment ain't too bad. <laughs>